here we're going to talk about letter forms and logos and the things that you can consider when you're working with letter forms to create an expressive letter mark or type logo. Now what you see here is a partial screen of the result of a Google search I did for logos and this page came up filled with logos many of which I'm sure you recognize. Um, now in this course we're going to work exclusively with types so the imagery here is not something we're going to consider but there are a couple of logos here that I feel use type to a very expressive extent and they're highlighted here. The Oreo logo is one that I think works very well because the fat white letter forms really give us a feeling of the cream that's inside the chocolate cookie. If the letter forms here had been thin or delicate or even colored it wouldn't work nearly as well. I know you all agree that we get a sense of the rich um, opulent cream that's inside the cookies here and the letter forms help to recognize that. Notice too that the letter forms while being very fat and sumptuous looking are still slightly separated so that you can easily read the word and this is always something to consider when you're working with letter forms. If you can't read it it's not going to be successful. So over here we have a logo you may be familiar with, the Guitar Hero video game logo. This is very well done because again you can easily read the phrase even though the letters have been distorted and manipulated such that they fit closely together like a, a tight band would so to speak and the uh, G and the R you'll notice have been stylized and the points have been uh, manipulated on some of the other letters the whole effect is one of kind of a gothic old English feel such as many metal bands use in their music so we get a sense of that hard rock feeling from this really well done logo all done with letter forms. Over here we see a very simple one, the Hershey's logo. Now of course the dark brown rectangle behind the letter forms signifies the delicious chocolate bar that's inside the package. You'll notice too that the letter forms are not treated that uh, extensively. It's ver a very simple treatment but the letters are all caps. It, they're in a bold sans serif typeface, very tightly spaced, very tidy, again very easy to read, but the way that this works I think is the fact that the letters are all capitals. That, that implies confidence, boldness, and it also makes for a nice rectangular shape to the words which fits nicely on a package. So an all caps Caps treatment can communicate that power, that boldness and confidence. It can also be really easy to work with in layout because it comes out in a nice rectangular uh, aspect. The last logo we're going to look at here is the eBay logo and it's a it's a good example of what we call mixed case. You'll notice that the Y used in the logo is a capital letter but the other three letters are lower case and you'll notice too that they overlap but yet you can still easily read the logo. It's multicolored which to me signifies uh, diversity and abundance and it's a friendly not too formal looking logo that has been very successful successful in communicating the nature of the company. So these are some of the um, ideas that you can get from working with type and type logos. Now for your one of your assignments is to work with a toy store logo, Jumping Spider Toys, and here I have um, worked a little bit with the letter forms to express the nature of some of the things you can do to make this uh, successful for you. And I'm going to make this a little smaller so we can see the screen. Um, JST, the three letters of the company, are treated in a couple of different ways. And you'll notice that uh, down here I have a listing of things you can do design-wise to work with your type. You can work with scale or size, you can change them. You can use mixed typefaces such as I have done in this logo here and mixing up the type to work. 
You can use mixed case, as I talked about a moment ago. Here the T is lowercase, and yet the uh, capital S and J work with the lowercase t here. And you'll notice that in some cases the letters touch, signifying unity. You can work with different type styles. You can mix bold and italic. You can work certainly with color. And for a toy store, I'm sticking with bright primary colors, which are appealing to children. The way that you place and uh, relate the letters to one another is really important. Here I've taken the background purple rectangle and I have angled it a little bit to imply playfulness, or like a block. Um, it's always important to remember to maintain your readability. And a lot of times this background shape will help to unify the logo. If I was going to go and color this logo up top here, for instance, I could color in that circle. And in, I would want to for a toy store because you want to have something that is bright and cheerful and appealing. Now it's also important to remember though when you design a letter mark or a logo, you want to also have a black and white version that works as well. In this case, um, the JST, the red background here, I have a black and white version that could be used if I had to depict it without any color. And remember too that black and white means black and white, no gray scale. So that's important to keep in mind. So these are some ideas of how you can manipulate type and use it to create expressive and very successful letter mark logos. Mm -hmm.